Hi, this is the Cool Geek, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to locate the personal macro workbook and create it if you don't already have it. So for this, you will require the developer tab. And if you don't have the developer tab with you, you can click on File, Options, click on Customize Ribbon, and then check this developer option, right? So once you have that, you'll have this record macro button at the bottom or in the top here within the developer tab right now let's press alt f11 to go into the visual basic editor alt f11 takes me to the visual basic editor here workbooks are listed along with them the default modules are listed right so right now we don't have the personal xlsb workbook but what we can do is go back to the excel and then click on record a macro now once you do that just give a test macro name i'm saying i'm going to say test macro okay now instead of storing it in this workbook what you can do is choose personal macro workbook now what this does it it, it creates that personal macro workbook which is common for all the workbooks and that you work across in excel right so i'm just going to say okay couple of steps here copy or paste you can do some something that generates one line of code Okay, and then click on stop to stop recording the macro. Now, once you do that, you press Alt F11 and then go back to this window. What you will notice is that within the list of uh, macro workbooks that are there, the VBA project personal XLSP also will be loaded, right? So within it, you will have Excel objects much like others. And then within it, you'll have module. So by default, it's module one. You can rename this to my personal codes or anything that you feel appropriate and once you do that if you double click on it you will see that that particular macro is present here now all the macros that you want to use in all other workbooks you can write the code here and utilize it across all workbooks thank you for watching